Well, I started playing poker when I was 13 years old, and I started was taught to play poker by a guy named Danny Robinson. Now, little did I know at the time, he went on to become the most famous and legendary seven card stud player in the world. He became partners with Chip Reese. They went to Las Vegas in 1973 as partners with a thousand dollar bankroll. And before the summer was up, turned it into a million dollars. They became the gold dust twins of Las Vegas, took the, the town by a storm. And Danny, this is the guy that taught me how to play poker. So naturally, he was two years older than I was, which is a big edge when you're a kid. He sold me his paper route and I would get up and deliver the Dayton Journal Herald, I'm from Dayton, Ohio, at four o'clock in the morning, every day of the week. And back in those days, on Friday night, you went out and collected from your customers. So I'd go out and collect from the customers, and when I get back, there'd be Danny shuffling the cards on my back porch, and he would beat me out of all my money. He used to get up and deliver papers, and then he had me do it, and he made the same money, because they beat me out of my money every week. And every day I'd go in my house, and my chin would be on my chest, and my mom would say, don't play with Danny, he's too good for you, you know? And the next time I'd come in, and she'd finally said, you know, if you're so stupid to play with him every day, when you work all week long and lose all your money to him, she said, you don't deserve to have any money. You know, and I finally caught on, and she was right, but little did I know how good he was. You know, in our neighborhood, because of Danny, you know, we gambled on everything. Wiffle ball, bowling, golf, baseball. It didn't make any difference. We bet on everything as kids. Now, none of us drank, none of us smoked. We were all into sports. But because of him, we all got to bet, ping pong, bowling, it didn't matter what it was. So I grew up in a gambling environment, honestly. And little did I know till I got away from Danny that I had a knack for cards because he kept me broke all the time when I was a kid. But once I went off to college at Ohio State University and played with the normal guys in the dorm, whether we played gin rummy, whether we played hearts, whether we played poker, I finally realized, hey, you know, I'm better than all these guys playing cards. And it was then I realized I had a knack for cards after I got out of college, I joined the Army, got stationed in North Carolina, found home games to play in, and literally started playing in home games. I was married for three and a half years, got a divorce. I had a job as a sales rep at that time, but I was playing home games on the side. I enjoyed them more. It used to kill me to have to get up and drive to Camp of June or somewhere where you might sell something to the PX and make some money, or you might not, when I knew I could make money in that poker game. So once I got the divorce, I said, you know, I'm just gonna play poker in these home games, quit the job, Figured if I got broke, I could always go back and get another job. Literally the next 20 years, I never had a paycheck, played poker for a living.